My grandfather and my grandmother were part of a wave of Ukrainian immigration to Western Canada that began in 1892 and lasted till 1914, the beginning of the First World War. They were hungry for land. All the land in the Ukraine was controlled by landlords. There was a large population. And here they hear about land in Canada and uh, Alberta. They hear that they can get 160 acres of land for $10. All of these immigrants settled in a block that was called the Star Etna area, some 30 miles to the northeast of Edmonton, and extended beyond that for 70 miles. Shortly after my grandfather arrived, he began to clear the land because you had to clear a certain amount of land every year to get it into production to keep your homestead. As you can see, the space here is quite open, but that wasn't the case when he arrived. The land was quite bushy, covered with scrub poplar and a bit of spruce. My grandmother for a little while lived in this house here on the farm. It's built out of uh, log construction and then it's covered with clay mixed with straw to bond the clay together. In some cases they would whitewash the clay so you get these whitewash houses. Canada was the promised land to the Ukrainian immigrants of my grandfather's generation. Its new frontier and freedom offered more than the uncertainty they left behind in Ukraine. Their descendants flourished in the new country. They became passionate Canadians, offering their spirit and vision to Canada, contributing to its greatness.